<sighs> Hello, folks. Josh Guy 64 here once again. And I am back with a brand new rant. Yeah, I know, I haven't done a rant in a long ass time. But I figured that it is time to come back into the limelight of the ranters community by ranting on the typical infectious cancer that has been constantly eating away at YouTube for quite a long time now, and it has caught my attention in the most negative fashion possible. So today, folks, this rant is targeted directly at Arc Music Factory and the cesspool of atrocious music it has been constantly producing on a daily basis since the summer of 2010. But for those of you who have no clue what they are, allow me to explain as best as I can. Arc Music Factory was founded in mid-2010 with the intention of being an independent record label, since the current artists on their label have paid about 2000 to 4000 grand up front to sign up. And as stated in their mission statement, we at ARC make it possible for an emerging artist to be discovered, defined, and delivered to advance in their chosen career and be successful. Since its founding, ARC now has about 14 quote-unquote music artists in their lineup. And from the looks of it, they have no intention of stopping anytime soon. Alright, now folks, I have no problem with a group of people trying to form an independent record label to help upcoming music artists promote their music, and allowing us all to take a break from the over-processed, over-budgeted, and over-hyped mainstream shit that pervades the airwaves right now. Hell, if anything, I support the effort because I, like many people, are getting sick and fucking tired of the fucking mainstream music. All these fucking boy bands, autotune themed rappers, digitally altered rock bands, and she-boy pop divas have been driving a lot of people crazy lately. So, it is refreshing to hear something independent and not relying on the typical mainstream tricks just to get people to listen to them. Now, with Arc Music Factory... They might have started out with good intentions, but by the time we got to the infamous Rebecca Black's Friday song, or if you really want to be picky, start at Alana Lee's Butterfly song, it was there that it did not take a genius to figure out that Arc Music Factory is not bringing anything new to the table known as music. No, folks. Instead, they have only contributed to being part of the problem with the music industry today. And you know what I'm talking about, people. What I'm talking about is, if Arc Music Factory genuinely wanted to promote independent artists, then they would not be using the typical tricks of the mainstream to get their artists noticed. And you all know what I mean by tricks. I'm talking about the overuse of autotune, the fact that all their artists are preteens or teenagers appealing to that demographic of music listeners, and probably just the fact that every goddamn song they release is always about some stupid teenage love story, party song, or some other party-slash-relationship bullshit that a majority of the world does not care to hear or has not heard since they left high school. You know, if this is supposed to be an independent record label, then please, ARC Music Factory, start acting like a fucking independent record label. Seriously, it is not that hard. Simple shit. Independent music is meant to be underground, not mainstream. It is meant to be a subculture, not a pop culture. Independent music is supposed to rebel against the mainstream pop culture of shitty music today. <sighs> but sadly, folks, it seems like now the independent is becoming part of the mainstream. And you know what? Arc Music Factory is solid proof that the independent music of today is going even further and further down the spiral that is known as the toilet bowl of shitty music because they keep selling their artists out or the artists sell themselves out along with the record label just for making a bit, little bit more money for themselves or just for getting more exposure and attention from the world or the media. <sighs> well, folks... I really have nothing left to say about Arc Music Factory or any other independent music, record labels, or artists that are slowly allowing themselves to become infected by the mainstream crap. It's almost as if we, the music listeners, 
have put a very low standard of expectations in the world of music today that we listen to. And my question is, if things keep going at the rate they are, is this what we're going to leave to future generations? Just a pile of shit that keeps spewing out on the radio airwaves? <sighs> it's really sad, folks. However, though, I'm going to make a prediction about all this. According to my computer, it is currently June 18th, 2011. I can almost guarantee you but that by this time within two years from now, that ARC Music Factory will become nothing more than a fleeting memory in the minds of those who were stupid enough to like and worship their music and their artists, and they will also become the sad example of what happens when the independent circuit of music sells out to the mainstream for a little more cash and media exposure. I can almost fucking guarantee you, folks, that they will go bankrupt due to their shitty music and shitty teenage autotune music stars, and that their artists will also become bankrupt, turn into drug addicts, alcohol addicts, media drama whores like Britney Spears or Lady Gaga, get committed to rehab or jail like Lindsay Lohan, and that all the songs they have made through Arc Music Factory will become the backburner music for those terrible, terrible now hits compilation CDs when the makers of those CDs run out of shitty ABBA and Bee Gees songs to keep putting on them year after year. It's going to happen, folks. I can guarantee it. Arc Music Factory is going to be snuffed out just as fast as punk music was snuffed out in the 90s. Why? Because, just like punk music, they sold out for the mainstream and for a little more cash and media exposure. And in the words of a famous squirrel, when the underground becomes mainstream, you rebel against that. Thank you, Lord and Master, Foamy the Squirrel. Well, folks, that's all I have left to say. So until next time, good night, America, and to all the ships out at sea.